Haddens Limited has three projects in Western Australia, and this presentation will focus on the Mount Holland Lithium Project. Mount Holland is located approximately 400 kilometres east of Perth and 100 kilometres south of Southern Cross in Western Australia. Mount Holland is home to Earl Grey, one of the largest hard rock lithium deposits. The deposit is jointly owned by the world's largest producer of lithium, the New York Stock Exchange listed SQM and junior Australian company Kidman Resources. Mount Holland and the adjoining Forestania region host world-class mineral deposits, including the high-grade Flying Fox and Spotted Quoll Nickel Sulphide mines, the Earl Grey Lithium deposit, and the historic Bounty mine, which produced more than 1.3 million ounces of gold. Exploration for lithium at Mount Holland is a relatively new endeavour for all companies. Exploration for lithium at Mount Holland only really commenced in 2016 on the back of the surge in demand for rechargeable batteries for electric vehicles and mobile phones. The surge in demand for lithium meant companies began interrogating their old drilling databases to see if their projects contained rocks called pegmatites that are the hosts for the lithium mineral spodumene. On the left hand side of the screen is an idealised lithium deposit model based on identifying a large source of granite that has brought magma close to the surface and then locating associated pegmatites that host zones of exotic minerals including lithium, cesium and tantalum. Pegmatites are complex rock units and it's important to understand that not all pegmatites host lithium. Hannans Limited, listed on the Australian Securities Exchange, has two projects at Mount Holland called Mount Holland West and Mount Holland East. Hannon's Mount Holland West project covers the western margin of the potential source granite to the pegmatites hosting Earl Grey. Hannon's has only scratched the surface so far in terms of exploration for lithium at Mount Holland West, but every new piece of data helps target future drilling. The fifth phase of drilling will target an area where previous explorers intersected pegmatites but didn't assay for lithium. This drilling is expected to start in September. The background to the discovery of lithium at Mount Holland is that drilling under the historic Earl Grey gold open pit had intersected pegmatites at 300 metres depth. The old core was recovered and assayed for lithium. Kidman resources have subsequently followed the pegmatite from a depth of 300 metres back up to the surface and in doing so have uncovered one of the world's largest lithium deposits. The value of the SQM Kidman Lithium Project in Mount Holland has increased from $15 million to $1 billion in two and a half years. The image on the screen shows the historic infrastructure associated with both the Earl Grey and Bounty Gold Mines. There is also the outline of the proposed Earl Grey Lithium Open Pit. At the top of the image is Hannon's Mount Holland West project. The yellow flags show the location of the reverse circulation drilling, phase four, completed by Hannon's in July. This is drone footage of Hannon's RC drill program taken during July at Mount Holland West. The ground is covered with thick scrub and wind-blown sands, making visual identification of outcropping rocks very difficult. It is for this reason that a significant amount of drilling is required at Mount Holland West to identify pegmatites under this cover. Hannon's Mount Holland East project covers the eastern margin of the potential source granites to the pegmatites hosting Earl Grey. Hannon's has 10 separate structural targets and the aim of the drilling is to intersect rocks considered prospective for hosting economic grades and widths of both lithium and gold. This air core drilling is expected to commence in September. This image shows the location of the Hannon's Mount Holland East project relative to the historic Bounty and Earl Grey gold mines and the proposed Earl Grey lithium open pit. Mount Holland East is a very large area of highly prospective tenure and historically there have been less than 20 shallow drill holes in the project 
none of which were assayed for lithium. Interestingly, pegmatites were logged in some of the holes by the field geologists at the time. Hannans has the funding in place to continue exploring its highly prospective Mount Holland project for lithium, and as mentioned, drilling will recommence in September. Visit the Hannans website for more information and join the increasing number of people following Hannans exploration activities for lithium at Mount Holland.